Hey guys, today we are at the Concourse de Elegance at the end of St. John's in Plymouth, Michigan, and Chevy has the brand new generation C8 Corvette on display here. They have two cars, some of the accessories, some of the interior details to show you guys what this car is going to be all about. This is my first time getting to see one in person. We're going to walk around and show you guys some of the exterior, some of the interior options and check out the finally mid-engine Corvette C8. Outside, this white one does not have the Z51 package. It looks like a little more base option car than the one that's on the inside. But you can kind of look at the general styling and the shape. It still looks very distinctly Corvette. And the big news is it is mid-engine, obviously, now. Engine's gone from there to back there. It's been rumored for many, many generations. And finally, for the C8, they've done it. Um, I think they started to reach kind of the limit of what the front-engine rear-wheel drive chassis could do. In terms of performance, the ZR1 is a monster from the C7 generation, but this is just a better setup from a dynamics and physics standpoint for a mid-engine sports car. Let's go inside, check out this red one with a Z51, and then they've got like an engine on display, the transmission, interior options. Check this thing out. Styling-wise, I really like the front end. It's very distinctly Corvette, but it's gone a little more exotic, but you can still see a lot of the elements there, how the hood comes to a point the headlights, is, it's evolved. It's very exotic and aggressive looking. We'll come around the side. It's got conventional, regular opening doors. No crazy, fancy carbon fiber tub. Got this intake vent on the side. Around the back, this is where there was a little more controversy. A lot of people did not like the styling of the rear end. They were saying it's too Camaro looking. But hey, guys, that's what kind of a family design um, language is called. I mean. The Corvette and the Camaro have to look somewhat similar. They're both Chevy sports cars. If you look at two Ferrari sports cars, they look similar. Two Lamborghinis, they look similar. Uh, it's not my favorite, I'll agree there, but I don't hate it either way. The taillights are really cool. They've got a sequential turn signal that lights up when you're going for a turn. This is the Z51 car, so it's got the little lip on the, on the wing on the back. On the bottom, we've got a little diffuser, squared off exhaust tips. I know a lot of people got really upset that it has side exhaust and not exhaust in the middle, but with the mid-engine setup, they weren't able to route it efficiently. It just would not work out well to have a center exit exhaust. I saw somebody rendered one up, but I think from a uh, just engineering standpoint, quad split exhaust was necessary. It's got staggered setups for uh, the wheels, 19 inch on the front, 20 inch on the back. We'll show you some of the designs in a second. The Z51, I believe, comes with bigger brakes too. This car is running Michelin PS4S. I think it's 305s on the back and 245s up front. Unfortunately, we can't get any on, on the inside, but I can kind of show you guys the interior. You can see all the controls and everything in the inside of the vehicle are set up very much driver-centric. They're all kind of pointing towards the driver. If you were sitting here in the passenger seat, everything would be kind of pointing away from you. Got storage up here in the front. That opens up, and there's actually a trunk in the back too. Uh, people are taking pictures. I'll come back. So here are some of the colors, wheels, and calipers for the 2020 Corvette. Here are all the different wheel designs, different finishes. Got various different styles going on. Um, let's see. And then we've got the paint colors here. You can see all of them. I think my personal favorite paints are going to be either Rapid Blue or the Zeus Bronze. Zeus Bronze looks very, very cool. And then different brake caliper colors. Now, here is the engine. It's an LT2, that's what they're calling it now. It's essentially an evolution of the LT1 found in the C7 Corvette Stingray. They had to make a bunch of changes to make it work in a mid-engine setup, but it's still 6.2 liters, naturally aspirated V8, 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque with the Z51 package. A lot of uh, packaging changes were required. I mean, this type of thing was needed to change it um, to make it work in a mid-engine setup. Took the engine from there to back there. That's, that's good power, almost 500 horsepower naturally aspirated and still V8. The other cool thing is there's a trunk space back here. They actually showed you could put two golf bags in there, which apparently is very important to Corvette's demographic. But what's even more important to notice, look how low this engine is set in the chassis. That's super low. Um, that means a lower center of gravity, better handling too. Here they've got some interior trim options are showing off. Look at this blue. This is a very bright blue. Nice suede and leather, some cross stitching. That looks, wait, what happened to Adrenaline Red? This option is no longer available. I don't know, maybe it fell off. Those are some of the options there. We've got seatbelt colors. Look at all the different seatbelt colors. 
Oh my gosh, torch red looks cool. Blue, wow. And the other cool thing is, from what I heard, Chevy is not gonna restrict your color combination. So you could do a red exterior with yellow brake calipers and a blue interior and orange seat belts if you wanted. From what I remember reading, they will not say certain combinations are not allowed. So you could literally go crazy with your color combination spec. They've got two different steering wheel options here. Um, the same steering wheel design, but the finishes. This is suede wrapped. This is leather. Nice cross stitching here. These paddles feel really nice. Nice paddle shifters are metal, about that big, pretty nice size, but oh my gosh, they feel really nice to pull. Got two different key fob options too. Got a carbon flash emblem and a chrome. You can see the differences right there on the emblem. So you saw paddle shifters on the steering wheel. Here is the transmission, an eight-speed dual clutch developed with Tremec. It has been confirmed that this car, the C8 Corvette, will never come with a manual transmission. Packaging-wise, they couldn't do it. Cost-wise, they couldn't get it to work out. They just did not decide it was worth it. So you get an eight-speed dual clutch transmission. I know this is gonna upset a lot of purists. A lot of people believe their Corvette should come with a manual transmission, conventional six-speed, well, seven-speed for the newer ones. But this is kind of what progress is. It's gonna be faster, it's gonna shift faster, and it allowed Chevy to concentrate on getting this vehicle designed, developed, engineered, calibrated, all for one transmission to be as fast and perform as well as possible. Um, I know people will be very upset at the loss of the manual, but this is the way of a lot of things have gone. The other cool thing is this is the first time a dual clutch transmission has been combined with cylinder deactivation. So the Corvette does have cylinder deactivation. And conventionally, that's always been done with a torque converter, which can help dampen the vibrations. A dual clutch is not able to do that as well. And I believe they're still working on refining that, but it's the first time they've combined those two features. We have this big mural of the C8 up here. Here are the different seats, starting from the base GT1, going up to a GT2, all the way to Competition Sport. This, I believe, is the most aggressive one. You start back at the beginning, it's, they're all bucket seats, but leather. This is the most comfortable one, I assume. This is a little more aggressive. It's got some nice red cross stitching, perforation on the leather, some carbon fiber here that the GT1 does not have, and all the way up to the Competition Sport. I assume this is the most aggressive. Got carbon fiber trim there, some cross stitching. Nicely bolstered. Uh, you also notice it's got a nice little Corvette logo embossed on the headrest. That looks pretty cool. Here are some of the different logos and badges you can get. The Stingray logo, updated. Same thing with the actual Corvette, the flag. It's been kind of narrowed in a little bit. Sharper V. You got chrome ones, you have blacked out ones. You got the rear Corvette in red, white, or blue on this Z51 car that's in black, actually. We could do red, white, or blue on that. That's pretty cool. Got a wall of accessories here. You got Corvette Pelodi driving shoes, some nice leather bags here first aid kit with the logo embossed and an engine cover. That's pretty cool. Back around this side, you can see the interior. Unfortunately, they can't open the cars up and we can't get in today, but we saw the steering wheel. You can see that giant row of buttons right there. Kind of all the controls are there. Everything is very driver centric. It's updated. It looks really nice. I think the interior looks nice and modern, really good materials. Here's the front end of the car. We'll do one more walk around, show you guys couple more of the details. We got two cameras up front, one there, one on the other side, assuming this thing has PDR. Got some radiator there, intakes. The new headlights. These are the daytime running light LED accents that will light up. Still looks very Corvette. The new badge up front, as I mentioned, a frunk in the front. Z51, upgraded brakes. I really like the red and black accents. These body lines going over here. More airflow. Around back, this entire, I guess, engine cover area opens up. You get the trunk storage here, that low mounted. Wait till we see the Z06, Z01 high performance versions. Imagine a big supercharger or turbos on top of that thing. And then around back. So this car doesn't have any sort of crazy carbon fiber tub, no, no exotic doors, it's normal opening. And this is how they're able to make a mid-engine V8 Corvette, $60,000 base price, starting price. It's a ton of performance from the money. Pretty cool to see in person. 
So there we go, the C8 generation Corvette, the brand new, it's finally gone to mid-engine. The numbers this thing is gonna be able to achieve in just base level form are amazing. The Z51 package, zero to 60 in under three seconds. Uh, it's gonna be $60,000. This is absolutely crazy. Cannot wait to see higher performance versions. Cannot wait to see these on the road and cannot wait to drive them. Congratulations, Chevy, this is awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please comment below. See ya.